Hello there, welcome back to Ireland and the Ben David house. Last time, well, we uh, migrated to... I guess I could say that we actually migrated to... Uh, well, the kingdom of uh, Taurica in... Uh, I have no idea what this area is actually called, it's still my mind. But we are down here now and we are closing down to... Uh, we're trying to make our way down south to where the abbesses currently are. We'll do this by going through the Petch uh, Nags, then we'll probably fight Abkhazia, and then we'll probably end up fighting the Byzantine Empire. So what I might actually end up uh, considering here is uh, whether or not I should actually go ahead and move my capital just for uh, the lifespan of this guy, simply for the pure purpose of uh, allowing myself to hire some more mercenaries for the potential war, or for when the war against the... Uh, when the war against the... Uh, the, uh, what's their name? The Byzantines come. So, that is currently what we have to do. And also, as you could see here, there were three people that I could actually attack here. I can Holy War for Jorvik. I can Holy War for uh, Cornwall. I can Holy War for Cornwall. So, basically, here, the, uh, the completion of, uh, I guess I should say the Little Empire here, is slowly but surely reaching its, uh, its conclusion. And as such, we'll uh, just continue with that, making sure that everything is done well, fast and properly. And once we have reached that end and been able to take down Brittany, we'll start to, I guess, try and ship these guys to the battlefield that will very soon become uh, become the Byzantine Empire or our war against them. We'll basically just be a warrior for Cutley, and then we'll, I think, hopefully go through Armenia. We could always wait for a potential... Uh, a potential revolt and with this guy as heir that could potentially happen so what I might actually just wind up doing here is stopping to plot against this guy due to the fact that I do have the uh, I do have the uh, well I get as far as I need to do be which is a border Abkhazia so I should probably plot to kill the Basileus instead but just with 20% that does make much sense so instead we'll do a little bit of conquest over here and and, uh, and build up a little bit of extra power so, with this we have four wars, the war against uh, the Pechenegs for uh, the Duchy here, and also the war against the uh, three world well, counts that are still left in, uh, in Great Britain. So, we'll just get this done, and then we'll see what happens. There we go, the first uh, war here against the uh, Duchy of Cherson is, um, is over. With that we have some more land that we can hand out. And we also have uh, the three counties back at home. There are currently under siege two of them, and third one, the the uh, I believe it's Cornwall. Cornwall is the only one that is under siege. I just placed the troops in the provinces, but as you can see, there's a couple of problems. The uh, Jorvik and Yilland army could potentially be a little bit troublesome, but all in all, I think it should be too much of a problem. I'll allow this siege of the castle to just finish as uh, well as usual. And then we'll go and hunt down these armies and see how uh, how it turns out. So, we'll uh, just get this done and then we'll go for Abkhazia. We'll see how it goes. So, we do have a Kallik here and that of course brews trouble in itself. So those are 7,000 Crusaders. And I'm pretty sure that I can't really beat those. So I might actually have two white piece here or I could always try and join these armies up and see if, uh, if I can solve things that way. I probably can't though, but we'll uh, give it a go here, see if we can, to some extent, just get the sieges done here. Before that, well, that Crusader army just disappeared, so that is good. That is, of course, very good. Um, but we'll do just a quick sieges here to make sure that we win against the Catholics before they, uh, before they send another Crusader army here and uh, at least cruise us over. So there we go, the first uh, war is won. We'll just march on these uh, small armies. We'll take out this one first since we are, since we are fairly close to it close to it, not of it, but to it. So with that in mind, we'll just fight the last wars here and then we'll focus on uh, uh, Casey. As you know, I'm very, uh, I'm probably as you have noticed, I have no idea if it actually said so, but I am on very honestly, extremely terrible when it comes to um, my attention span or rather multitasking in games. I can't really pay attention to more than one area at a time and that is kind of why I suck mostly when I end up uh, trying multiplayer or something like that. I mostly just lose horribly due to the fact that I can't simply uh, freeze the time when I want and as such I'm 
which it will be interesting if I fire up something like that. Wow, if I, if I do play something like that. Crusade for Aquitaine. That is no concern of ours, but it's um, nice that Aquitaine and not ourselves became the target. Because I'm pretty sure that we could potentially become the target. And we could potentially become so very, very fast. So, as long as I can stay away from uh, or out of uh, out of the target, not actually being a target, I will be uh, grateful. So that is at least uh, a positive thing. But yeah, we'll just go ahead here now, finish uh, the war. And uh, with that, we are getting closer to, once again, a unified uh, Great Britain. So, I'll just continue, finish up that last war. And uh, once it's done, I'll get back there. As you can see, I opted for medium crown authority. The reason for that is that I prefer to try and just keep the uh, my vassals at count level, and as such, it wouldn't be too beneficial of me to actually raise that. It would most likely just horribly turn things uh, into a bad situation. So I'll keep the, uh, the stuff as it is now. So Scottish Liberation Revolt, five thousand men. That is worrisome. That is scary indeed. I can raise a lot more men. Luckily, or not a lot. Wow, I can't, I can't really raise that much at all. So what we will do here, I think, is first of all get uh, the siege of this county done. Then we'll fight these guys. And potentially I might actually have to... Uh, have to... Uh, yeah, I might actually have to hire some mercenaries or de-hire the ones that I currently have over over here in, uh, in these lands. And then re-raise them down line, which isn't a uh, that isn't a good thing at all so for now we'll allow the siege of this one to finish and then i'll see what i'll do with these uh, these rebels we'll see how it turns out there we go the wolf of cornwall is uh, finished and with that we do get a little bit of prestige and piety so what we will do now is go off of the norse uprising and then we'll despawn everything and re-race it just because of the fact that we do need most likely a, um, a full amount of troops. This will also uh, allow us to start a new war in Abkhazia. Or a war for Abkhazia, depending on how you want to look at it. Apparently the crusade for Aquitaine was successful. And that makes it a very intimidating and interesting Burgundy. So potentially here, we might have to take some lands down here. Just for the sole purpose of building up our own strength. I'm not if they'll actually do, <laughs> do, do a crusade against me. They could potentially do so. And that would not be something that I would uh, I would like. This is um, the fellow that did the uh, well mean thing towards me, so we'll uh, execute as usual. And since we do now have the uh, <laughs> possibility, occasion, we'll go ahead here and declare holy war for Abkhazia, which, as you can see, will give us a border with the Byzantine Empire and potentially a war against them, which once again wouldn't be too beneficial. Luckily, I can raise another thousand men in uh, in uh, retinue. That is, of course, a very good thing to uh, to be able to do. And we'll also go ahead here and try and as well as we can to make these guys actually join up without getting horribly murdered. So let's see if we can join our armies up and uh, make things work. So once again, I kind of uh, messed up here. As you can see, they did take advantage of the fact that my men weren't properly set up. And now they're getting hor horribly murdered. So what I might actually have to do here is uh, despawn and re-raise. They went first here, blocked off here, so that's why I skipped down there. And then when I didn't pay attention, they decided to... Well, this is the perfect time to, um, to attack, more or less. So we'll see if we can join up these armies one way or another. If we can do that, then I'm pretty sure we can to some extent pull something off. If we cannot, then we'll probably get crushed. And also, of course, my uh, problem with paying attention to other things doesn't actually pose a, a, uh, a problem, as it turns out, because down here, the... Uh, I s yeah, you're still alone. If the Byzantines have joined in, then it could be dangerous, but they haven't, so we should be fine. This guy is definitely... Yeah. I'm going to sacrifice Cash and just... Ca uh, cash and Python and just uh, kill him. So, apparently, I got... Well, I got paid back, more or less. The Hooded Assassin got me, my, my vision is fading fast. May my kin avenge me. So, apparently I died to uh, to the Assassin. And the question right now is, should I do something kind of cheating and make someone else my my heir, 
my heir here. As you can see, I could go for my daughter. Could go for this guy, but I think... I still think this one is the best choice, so... God greet my soul, I'm uh, dead. King Murray is no longer marshal for Duke Levi. Duke Levi? What? Did I read that right? Probably. So, as you can see, the problem right now is that my Demnesa size jumped from 8 to 5. My wife here is honestly terrible, so we'll plot the death of uh, the wife. Fortunately, she's not that lucky. And other than that, I could here also apparently raise some more vassal armies. Which also is kind of interesting. We'll uh, use, we'll allow these guys to, to help out, more or less. And other than that, I will have to hand out the lands to uh, to someone here to make sure that things uh, go straight. So I'll just hand out the family lands. And I'll also nominate a, uh, a heir here. So let's see here. Do we want to go for that kid? Probably not. I think for now we'll uh, simply vote for Gila. 10, 14, 14, 9, 7. Fairly good ov overall and also has some pretty good traits. Um, Holy Warrior, of course, nothing to, um, to feel bad about either. So that should just work out fine. But now I'll go ahead, hand out the uh, the titles and then we'll see what we'll do. Apparently, I have fulfilled my ambition. As you can see, I handed out... Um, I have seven counties left and these are these three plus three is three and of course Middlesex. And I will be keeping those once I actually get myself a... Uh, a new wife, a proper wife, or one might say, high in stewardship, then I should be uh, should be fairly fine. So, we'll just uh, go ahead here, set our guys up for whatever we want them to do. And with that, we should be fairly fine. I'll just spread technology, I think. I, I can't remember if you should set it in the province you wanted to spread to, or in the province you wanted to spread from. So, for now, we'll just set it as it were. We'll just basically set them in the province. I might actually change it to just race Levi's later. But for now, I'll join up the army and we'll challenge the army of Kenneth and see if we can uh, see if we can stop the, the Liberators. Once again, they actually managed to catch my army off guard, didn't really pay too much attention and apparently these guys are fairly good when it comes to actually marching where I do not want them to. And as such, we kind of put ourselves in a bad position here. But we do have a fairly substantial uh, plot advantage here right now. And as you see, uh, Shoinlin was murdered on the orders of King Mario of Ireland. So I guess people actually found out and as such they will be a little bit mad with me. But uh, once again, I think it's something I can live with. The fact that the uh, best here is 8 stewardship is kind of bad. So I guess what we will do here is... Uh, Simply wait for this genius here to be raised, and then hope that potentially we can get the chil genius children again. Uh, we'll see how that turns out, if it's something that actually will work out at all. And just to be safe here, we'll keep, a, uh, keep ourselves a little bit away from this. But I should probably check on the army down here. They're almost done with this siege, so we'll just go ahead and destroy that army. And then Abkhazia should be, uh, should be out here. So, we'll join these armies up. And then we'll challenge the uh, then we'll challenge the rebels and hopefully defeat them. The fact that they are running away kind of tells us that we probably will defeat them. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see how it actually turns out once these guys actually stop running away. So we'll win them, Susanna. Your experience in matters of war has increased, and there are many things you will do differently in future battles. What will you focus on? So, considering the fact that we mostly have heavy infantry in our retinue, I guess we'll uh, focus on heavy infantry. Yes, I know I have about 3 or 60% heavy infantry if I continue with, uh, with uh, the defense retinues with 300 pikemen and 200 archers. So, uh, we'll probably do that. During the battle, you fearlessly charged ahead on horseback directly into the enemy ranks. Members of your personal guard riding beside you tumble off their horses as the enemy arrows found the marks, but your charge plowed straight into the enemy skirmishers and your sword ran red with their blood. Songs will be sung of this day, so I get 100 prestige in battle, not too bad. We also stored most of their men without losing too much of our own. And as such, I'm pretty sure everything here will now turn out to be, uh, to be fairly fine. Once again, the only real trouble right now is the fact that the Byzantines will be a hard nut to crack. No idea if I will actually 
I'm actually rather tempted to just wear Felty to them right now. And use that as a means of uh, of pressure. I'm pretty sure that I can't actually fight Holy Wars under them. But I'm pretty sure then also that I will be, uh, to some extent, protected. But once again, it's not really something that can be uh, that can be promised. So, uh, we'll have to see how that goes. But for now, we'll hand out these counties. I know I said that I would probably save one. But there are a lot of targets that I can pick if I decide to go after the, uh, go after the, uh, the Byzantines. So, hopefully we can get this, uh, guy killed. Apparently not. Can I kill the air? Apparently not. So, all in not a good thing. But at the very least, we'll get rid of these, uh, revolters. And once we do, I'll get back here. There we go. The revolters are dead and the liberation of Scotland failed. With that, we, uh, well... We'll do another execute because there's very little cash and as such. It's of no use to us at all. And apparently I can imprison that guy. Do I want to know? Though probably not. There's probably someone I can ransom as well, but I'll do that. Later there are it's actually a revolt right now, as you can see Moesia is revolting. There's a No, they've actually gotten peace, so I have no idea what's happening here, but apparently they are defending against the uh, the Sheikh of Tripoli. That's kind of interesting. What we can do, of course, then, is simply continue our... I shouldn't call it a crusade, but wars here. Simply continue by taking Crimea fully. And I think we'll actually do that. We'll make sure that we have some sort of presence in this area. Uh, which was Kasaria, which where I... Or, wow. Where I originally started my uh, first game. So I guess we'll do that. But uh, unfortunately, that will have to wait until next time. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like. And we'll continue our uh, conquests next time. I'll see you around. Bye.